Gentlemen, what's happening? My name is Nate. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the weekly rotation series. This is where we talk about what I wore last week and we talk about what you wore last week. Leave a comment down below. I would love to read some of the, a lot of the recommendations or a lot of the scents that you guys are wearing. I actually look up and I'm actually like constantly looking and adding to my like wish list. So, you know, you guys are a big contributor to my wish list. So shame on you. You're you're making me spend too much money. This week was a huge busy week. It was insane. I did like th three 12 hour days back to back to back to back. It was just insane. I am completely burnt out and worn out. Um, I need a vacation. And before we jump into it, shameless plug, if you wanna check out my weekly rotation dashboard, it's on my website. It's a really easy way to keep track of your weekly rotation. It's all drop down menus, so it's very easy to keep track of. So go over to my website and check it out if you're interested in that. On Monday, so I decided I'm, I'm starting to wear a lot of these parfums de Marley clones um, from Mason Alhambre. And um, the, uh, the overall consensus that I found is that they are so good. Um, the Pegasus one is what I wore on Monday and I wore, so I wore five sprays of this. So I did three sprays around the neck and then uh, two on my hand here. And then I wore two sprays of actual Pegasus on my other hand and I was smelling them throughout the day. This one actually lasts longer than Pegasus and they smell the same. They, I could not tell a difference at all with, you know, just, just being, just, you know, smelling them here and here. Uh, I really couldn't tell a difference at all. I was actually really uh, upset. So this one is a very good value. It's it's a really good bang for your buck if you're interested in getting Pegasus. Our moth also has craze, but from what I hear, it's been kind of watered down. So just be warned of that. But I haven't tried it, so um, you know. It, Maybe some people out there who have it can shed light on it, but this one is very good. If you're looking for Pegasus, give it a shot. This next one is from Fragrance World and it's another clone. It's another clone on a Tom Ford, but this is Emide Fume, or uh, it, it's it's a take on the Tom Fords, uh, but man, this stuff is dark, resinous, uh, but it's super seductive, man. This stuff has such a elegant character to it. But then again, yes, it is really dark. I'm not gonna be able to pull this one out anytime soon. Uh, the, the weather's starting to warm up and this was even a little sketchy to wear uh, that day as well. So, but it is super like resinous, dark. It's got like incense in here, I believe. And then there's some resin, like I think it's olibanum or Something, I don't even, I'm not a trained professional, okay? And from what I can gather, uh, their Aromatics, another YouTube channel, go over and check him out. He does a lot of great, great content. Um, he did like a breakdown of this and he said that it's super close. It, it's a great fragrance for the winter time. This is a, this is a winter time fragrance. Fall time too but on tuesday it was a little sketchy wearing it it was a little i only wore three sprays of it because i didn't know how powerful it was but you know on wednesday i pulled out polo red parfum so this is my third time wearing it i think this yeah third time wearing it and uh it's super good i like the way it smells i like the whole character behind it it does smell like polo red but it, it's in a it's in a unique twist. It's it's definitely not like coffee or, you know, anything dark. It's just very fresh, aromatic, and it's got like a reddy, red, I don't know. It smells like red, the color red, I don't know. Um, but once again, this one, it doesn't last all that long. Really disappointed about the performance with this one. So I just use little decants. I spray in a little decant and I carried it around and I refreshed throughout the day. Um, you know, I did get some compliments, I think two, um, but uh, that's because I was just refreshing, you know, and I was just giving, getting the opening, like I got the opening like three times. So it's nothing super splendid. I wouldn't pay re retail for it like I did, um, but uh, it's, I like it. It's growing on me. Springtime where I'm at is in full effect and Wulong Chi is carrying me absolutely through the springtime. It was about 80 degrees on Thursday and it was so hot. And this one was a great fragrance to have on during that time. Cause it was, uh, you know, this one handles the heat really, really well. Uh, it just has such a pleasant, you know, scent to it. I, 
I'm really, really digging it. Nishane just released uh, a bunch of new fragrances in the X series, their 10th anniversary series. Really dope stuff. Um, it's, a, it's a sick marketing campaign. Um, I would really love to get my hands on one or two of them. I would really love to smell them all. I really would, but they are so pricey. I think it's about 345 bucks for this, you know, style of bottle, this um, 50 mils. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Um, but Wulong Chi here. This one's good. This one is very good, but it is uh, it is definitely a springtime fragrance. It, it is, uh, and it, it does lean unisex. It's, it's a very uh, beautiful scent. So if you don't want to smell beautiful, if you want to smell like a rugged man, you probably don't need it. And then on Friday, I wore my signature scent now. This is my signature scent. This is Paragon by Paragon. So Initio, so... <laughs> I feel like Initio put me on their blacklist, most likely. Uh, and for people who watch the channel regularly, you'll know why. But anyway, so this was like, I did like a little small video, uh, just like a cinematic video. If you wanna check that out, it'll be on my channel. It's just like a, a cinematic view of Paragon here and showcasing the bottle. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I have a feeling, that was my makeup, you know, like I'm sorry to Initio. But, but anyway, uh, Paragon, I love this stuff. Honestly, this is, this has become, this has become one of my favorite fragrances that I own. And I know it sounds stupid. And, and this is why I, I'm not really going to share it all that much here on the channel. Like I'm not going to go heavy into this, um, just because of the name. It's like, I'm not trying to, you know, like Yes, it's called Paragon, Paragon Fragrances. Yes, I get it. Uh, but I bought it as a gag to, to make the video as a gag. I had no idea I was gonna love it this much. It is so splendid. And uh, I see myself like, if I had to throw away all of my fragrances and only keep one, I would probably only keep this one. And I know that that sounds crazy, but it smells so damn good and it's an all season fragrance. I know that's saying a lot, it, it really is, uh, but man, it is really good. On Saturday, I wore another Parfums de Marley, and this one is a more of a leathery kind of fragrance. And um, so uh, I did the first impression, first unboxing of all of them. You can go check it out on my channel, but I'm trying to wear them quite regularly just so I can actually recommend them. This one is divine. This one is so good. It's bordering the Tuscan leather vibe. So if just imagine Tuscan leather, it's heavy leather and then it's got saffron. It's very pleasant. It is a very pleasant smell. It's it's bordering it's bordering like ombre leather quality. It's not too much like that, but it is pretty damn close. Sexy, smooth and rich. Uh, I really love the way that this smells. And on Saturday, I woke up and it was snowing outside. It was, there was snow everywhere. And I was like, this is ridiculous. It was 80 degrees the other day. And then now we have snow. This is in insane. But today it's actually kind of warmer. So I decided to go with something fresh and layering. I haven't layered in a while. So I went with Sauvage as a base layer. And then I just sprinkled on some lemon lime. So this is a lemony fragrance, uh, but it's actually, it's very nice. It, it adds a little bit more uh, lemony freshness to the whole peppery Sauvage kind of thing. And I have to say it's, um, and I smell absolutely divine. No, it, it's really good. Uh, the Sauvage kind of balances it out a little bit. In the opening, the lemon line is a little harsh for me, um, I find it. Um, but when it's when it dries down, it's very smooth, very fresh, and it just, it screams summer, springtime, and it's really good. And then the Sauvage just kind of makes it just a, it's, almost, it's like a Sauvage flanker. I'm pretty much wearing, uh, a lemon sauvage flanker. Anyway, guys, let me know what you wore down in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to interact with you guys. Thanks for watching the channel. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time.